something enhanced ER diagrams or something called specialization and generalization. Specialization is where we're looking at what, what is different? What are the distinguishing characteristics that make these two, two things different? And generalization minimizes it. It looks for common ent things in entity. What, what makes these entities similar? So here we have an example of hourly, you know, hourly employees and contract employees. And you could be an hourly employee where you work hourly, but you can also be a contract employee where you don't work hourly. Now, to represent this, we have employee. And they have, there's things that are, are common. Employee, they all have names, IDs, age, address. Um, but then there's things that are different. So we have, um, so we say the attributes for employees are inherited by the hourly employee. And it's called an is a, an is employee, an hourly employee is an employee. So it's actually in other programming languages, you have things that are similar. So we have an, an is a relationship where the hourly employee is a employee. Same thing. A contract employee is a employee. So it's inherited. Um, the attributes for the employee are inherited by the contract employee. So let's see how that looks in an ER diagram. So here we have an employee and we have the ISA and we have um, and we have the hourly employee and contract employee. So it's kind of like a subclass. You have the super class and you have the subclass. It's not a relationship. It's just that employee has subclasses. You can be an hourly employee and you can be a contract employee, but they're both they're both employees still. They're just subclasses of employee. So here is how this would look with more details. We have the hourly employee and we have the contract employee um, and the hourly employee, we need to keep track of hours worked. But for contract employee, we need to keep track of the contract ID. So there's, you know, there might be different things, but everyone is is an employee. And for both of them, we have the employee, you know, they, they inherit address, social security number, name, ad, age, all of them are employees. But there's also specific things that we have an hourly employee has, such as hours worked. So, so that is a little different in this subclass. So here we have the generalization. They're both generalized to employee. That's why we call it generalization, specialization. But the specialization is what's unique, and, and that's the hourly versus contract. Here's another example. It's a grad, an undergrad, is a student. They're both students. You can be a grad student. You can be an undergrad student. They're both students. They both have things that are the same for students. But there might be different things that we need to keep track of for a grad student and different things we need to keep track of for an undergrad student. You know, an undergrad, um, you know, we maybe we keep, you know, freshman, sophomore, or junior. There might be, there's different things for a grad and undergrad. But they also have same things. They both have student IDs. They both have GPAs. So there might be very similar things as well.